hey guys it's me Tolha. so after getting an amazing response from you guys on my recent video about creating 3d floor plan renderings in revit i thought about making another one in this video i will show you how you can create this kind of cool looking isometric renderings for your presentations in revit now if you are interested in learning advanced 3d modeling in revit you can check out my courses on learnrevitonline.com and to get my revit uh, project files you can check out my patreon the links are in the description now let's get started so here i'm in revit and as you can see i have already opened this project file which we modeled in one of my videos on the channel if you want you can check that out anyway let's go to 3d view here and first we will create a duplicate of this 3d view so let's go here just expand this 3d views and then we want to duplicate this default 3d view just right click it duplicate view and then duplicate with detailing let's create another copy perfect uh, just rename this i'm just going to call it isometric view one and let's rename this one and just call it isometric view 2 perfect now we want to go to the one of these views so first let's edit the isometric view 1 let's go here and let's go to top view and uh, we want to create a section box here so let's go here and check this section box and you see nothing's changed here but if i zoom out we'll be able to see uh, the section box so let's drag it adjust this uh, section box now i will just change the visual style to wireframe so we can see our whole plan here now for for this view we want to cut this until the uh, this toilet seat here let's zoom in and just drag it until here and let's just roll it around and now we can just hide this section box so right click hide in view elements and then we'll just hide the levels as well right click um, this time you'll choose category perfect now let's uh, change the visual style to hidden line again and i'm just going to change the detail level to fine and then we can just hide this floor as well as the ceiling and the lights here as well just right click on this select all instances visible in view and then we can just right click on this again and just hide them perfect so we got something like this now i will just quickly add the shadows here just go to graphic display options and just expand this shadows and then we'll just check this show ambient shadows click apply just click ok perfect now before working on the other view we'll just make sure we have selected this corner view perfect now we don't want to change this again let's work on this one and we'll repeat the same process again just go to top view turn on the section box and change the visual style to wireframe and just drag this section box and this time we will uh, cut this uh, bathroom from here until this toilet seat let's change the visual style to hidden line change the detail level to fine and hide the section box and then the levels and then we'll just quickly hide this uh, wall and the ceiling and then these lights and just hide them for this view we will hide this wall as well uh, as well as the door so we can see all this area here perfect so let's add the shadows to this view as well 
just click OK. Here also make sure you have selected this corner view. Now to merge these two views, we, we need to create a new sheet. So for that we can just right click here, select new sheet and I will just select this A2 title block. Click OK. And now let's just drag both of these views to the sheet here. Let's increase the size of this by changing the scale here. Perfect. And let's use the same scale for this view as well. Here we have it. Now to remove the view title here, we need to select this view and then go to edit type. Here we'll just create a duplicate and let's call it viewport uh, without title. Just click OK and we just need to select none from here. Just click OK again and still we, the, this line is visible so I think we need to remove this as well. Select no from this drop down. Let's click apply. Okay, there we go. Let's select the same viewport for this one as well. Just select that and from this drop down, we can select this one. And now let's uh, put both of these together. We can just select this one and then move. And we'll just move it from this corner to this. Let's zoom in here and this time we'll use arrow keys to put them together like so. Perfect. So our views are now ready. On this side, I will place the flow plan and the sections. Anyway, to add the path here, we can use detail lines. So let's go to annotate and then select detail line and let's use the arc here and then we can just select overhead and create an arc here like so and another one from this corner to this one Now to edit these detail lines, we need to go to manage additional settings and here we'll select uh, line patterns because we want to create a new line pattern. So let's click new and let's call it dash line and then we'll just click here and select dash and I will just add five millimeter dash and then we'll uh, select space the same 5 millimeter hit ok ok again and if I try to change that from here from this line style you will see uh, this new line style which we just created is not visible here so the reason for that is we need to create a new line style as well so for that also we can just go back to manage and then additional settings and then line styles here let's expand this and uh, let's click here to create a new one I will just call it dashed line again click OK and then we can select the line pattern from here which we have just created here we have it new dashed line just select that and if you want you can change the line uh, weight here as well let's select 3 and we can choose the color from here as well. Let's uh, select red. Hit OK. Apply. OK. And then we can just select both of these lines. Change them from here. Here we have it. New dash line. Perfect. Once you are done creating the views and, uh, and these detail lines, just make sure to pin them so you won't accidentally move them later on. So just select all of these and click here to pin them. So that's how you can create this kind of cool looking isometric uh, 3D views for your presentations in Revit. Of course you can use the same method 
to uh, create uh, this kind of isometric views for building or uh, house project as well that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to check out my courses on learnrevitonline.com and to download this project file you can check out my patreon the links are in the description and yeah i will see you guys in the next video